Okay, boys and girls, now we're going to do math. We're going to read the instructions together. We're doing math stories. Maybe you already did a few minutes on IXL or Math You See. You should especially, if you go, I don't know if this is on IXL, but I know that if you go to Math You See, you'll be able to just do questions with doubles. And that's a good way to practice those. So today we're doing math stories. And probably the trickiest part is reading them. But let's read the directions first. It says, read and draw each story problem. Use circles to represent each add end. That just means for every number in the story, you're going to draw circles. Okay? Record an addition sentence and solve. Good job. So, first... I'm gonna grab a pencil. Boy, I'm not very well prepared. Here we go. Okay, let's read this first story together, ready? At the, now I divided this into syllables, m r mark at mark at. Oh, did you see that? m r mark at mark at. that means store. At the market, we got three, now this E-A-R sound is air and bear, P airs, pairs, three pairs, ten, oh, I see, ch in church, and this E-R-R sound says air, and I see E in brownie, ch, air, ease, cherries, three pairs, ten cherries, and five, k, u, q, k, um, come, cucumbers. At the market, we got three pears, ten cherries, and five cucumbers. How much did we get at the market? All to together. Okay, that means we're going to be adding. All together means we're going to be adding. See? Now, this is just like the math stories we did before, except look, there's one, two, three numbers to add. First, I have to draw to show um, what we bought at the market. So for three pairs, I'm going to draw three circles. Watch this one for 10 cherries. They have to draw 10 circles. So I'm going to try to be organized about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then five cucumbers. I'm going to draw circles like you would see on the on dice. Okay. So that means when I get down to here, I've got to take each of these numbers and put them in the right box. I got three pairs, 10 cherries, and five cucumbers. What did I buy all together? Well, I could count all the circles. That would be one way to add it. I could count on, in which case I would start with the biggest number, which is 10, and then I would go to the next biggest number, which is five. Now this is interesting because we've been talking about adding numbers to 10. When you're adding a number anywhere from zero to nine to 10, what lands in the ones place? The other number that you're adding. So 10 plus five makes what? Did you guess 15? Maybe you need to do touch math and that's okay. Tap 10, put it in your head and then count on on five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You see, we got the right answer. 10 plus five is 15, but we're not done yet. Then we have to add on three, 15. And now I can use my touch math if I need to. 16, 17, 18. So we got 18 fruits and vegetables at the market because three plus 10 plus five is 18. Okay, boys and girls, let's do the next one. At the, now when A comes at the front of a word, it says A. Ah. At the A, uh, qua, best friends. This A-R says air, and this I makes a long E sound. 
So this is actually, it's a four beat word. Look how you read it. A, qu, air, queer, a, queer, e. See how the I, it makes a long E sound? Um, at the aquarium, good job, we saw seven. Can you guess what that says? It's a compound word. J-L-E, jellyfish. Four, blow, what's that? Fish. And six. Do you know that sound? Shh. Ark sharks. Let's read the sentence again. At the aquarium, we saw seven jellyfish, four blowfish, and six sharks. How many fish did we see in total? That means the same as in all. Remember, you're going to draw circles for each um, thing that we saw at the aquarium. And the trick is, be careful when you're drawing your circles that you're being tidy because you don't want to draw too many or not enough because then you'll end up with the wrong answer. Okay, be organized about your drawing. When I think of seven, I think of six on the dice. And then one more. Four on the dice looks like this. You don't have to draw it like on the dice. It's just an easy way to organize. And then six on the dice would look like that, right? And then I need to fill in these boxes in the order of the numbers that are given in the story. So seven jellyfish plus four blowfish plus six, whoops a daisy, I almost made a boo-boo there. Six sharks equals how many altogether? Look what I see, friends of 10. Six and four makes 10, right? Then it's easy to add seven, isn't it? Did you get the answer? I'm not gonna tell you, you figure it out. Okay, if you need to pause it, that's okay. Then you can come back and join me. Let's read the next story together. Ready? In the, now this is a strange word. We know der, uh, draw, er, in the draw, er. Now that looks like that's how you say that word. But when you pronounce it, you actually say drawer. That's the correct way to say it. So it's not, you don't read it the way that it's spelled. It's very tricky. It's actually a sight word. In the drawer, like you would have in the kitchen, there are two compound word, and the first word is actually a bumper word. N oat, note, what? Books. Good job. Six, I divided this word into beats. E, l, ass, lastic. Six, elastic, b. And z bands and eight. Can you read that? Pencils. So let's read that sentence again. In the drawer, there are two notebooks, six elastic bands, and eight pencils. How many things are there in all? Okay, so you're going to, I'm not going to do it for you. Remember, you're drawing circles to show each of the things that are in the drawer, and then you're filling in the correct numbers and coming up with the answer. And guess what? I think you're gonna be able to use friends of 10 again. You see if you can find it, okay? Let's do the next story. So you pause it and then come back and I'll help you with the next story, ready? In my pocket, I have five paper, paper, Clips, clips. Four er app wrap furs wrappers and four bouncy bouncy balls. Let's read that again. Ready? In my pocket I have five paper clips, four wrappers wrappers and four bouncy balls. How many items are in my pocket in total? And again, you're going to draw circles to show each of the items that were in my pocket, fill in the correct numbers, 
and then come up with the answer. I don't see friends of 10 for this one, so be careful when you do this one, okay? All right, boys and girls, good job. Bye-bye.